how do I do that? Um, yep, I believe it's Start recording video. to the cloud yeah, now. There we go. Not that I'm a sucks at my head. There, Hi there. Hilda's, Hilda's, Hi. A guest. Hilda's a guest, and let me check my, my email. I emailed the contractor again uh, yesterday, and... Um, well, he's a real eager beaver. Yeah, <laughs> really. I do not see anything. Um, hi, Jennifer. Oh, hi, Krita. Where are you? I'm in Edmonds, Washington. Oh, oh you're already there. That's right. You went this weekend. Yeah, and you can see the water down there. Oh, God. Oh, I'm yeah. jealous. Because my mom I can't doesn't believe have Wi-Fi. So. It'd be nice to be in it someplace different. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little tired of the wall, four walls of my house. Right, right. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So that's our agenda. That's just so the agenda. Yeah. So I. Should I officially call to order? Is everybody here? Uh, it seems that we have a quorum. Yeah, I think we everyone's have... here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just. I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna step out in a minute. I just emailed the um, the contractor for 19 the fallen. Okay. Um, and uh, I haven't, he hasn't responded, but he said he was going to be here um, last week. He emailed me and said he'd be here, but and I told so them this that is the if, third, third meeting that he yeah. might not be here. <gasps> yeah. And I told them that if they weren't going to show that we were just denied the application, I mean, Rob Morris right. said as much, you know, there's not much the commission can do. So if there's right. still lingering questions. Good. Well, we had questions. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> This is, How, this. Uh, full professors used to get 10 minutes and assistant professors <laughs> would get 20 minutes. How long do no-show contractors get? Yeah. Geez, 20 minutes. I, we only gave our professors five and 10. Oh my God. <laughs> they sure have changed. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Well, do we go to the public portion of the meeting and then come back if he's late? You could, uh, yeah. Okay. That's very generous. Yeah. Well, yeah. I will officially call the meeting to order. Okay. Um, I believe that um, Nate has a, another engagement, so he will be handing the meeting over to Ben. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to step away now. I'll um, leave my computer on. Okay. Uh, All right. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Thank Bye, you. Nate. Thanks, Nate. Hi, Ben. Hi there. Oh, you're actually at town hall. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. been working in the office since June first now. So. Oh wow! Do you have it all to yourself? Uh, no, there, there's there's some other people here. It's uh, it's probably at like three quarters staffing right now. And do you wear a mask when you're in a public space? Yeah, if I'm out of my little cubicle here, I'll, I'll I put on a mask. It's, yeah, it's pretty yeah. second nature at this point. Right. <laughs> Wow. And it, even we don't really have face-to-face -face meetings either. I'm still like I'll Zoom if I'm talking to Chris or Rob, like right next door. That's amazing. Yeah, that works. But it's kind of weird. You can often hear their voice and then the delay <laughs> over <laughs> over Zoom. That's as pretty well. funny. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it's sometimes good to be able to uh, go to an office and work. There's fewer distractions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we'll do that. We'll assume that um, that the public part of the hearing is not going to happen, um, but we can go back to it if the contractor does come. So, uh, so this shouldn't, the meeting shouldn't take too long. The public mm -hmm. portion, um, I don't have any announcements. Okay. Do you? Nope. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know if Bruce had any more questions about uh, Amherst Media. This way. This way. Um. Is nope. Bruce on? I saw Bruce. Yeah, he was no, I see Bruce. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, Bruce has his uh, microphone off. He's I did that now. I'm good. Okay. There did you go. have any other questions about Amherst Media? Well, uh, not really. Although, uh, do we learn from that uh, rather pedantic uh, over uh, the, the pedantry associated with that? That uh, with this uh, Kendrick property thing that we're looking at, uh, is there a is there a um, a time a clock that's been set in motion that causes us to have to act? Um, I mean, is, is there any? Is, there's no cleverness that this guy's performing, is it? That he just by not showing up, but by mm. by starting the 
I, I, it, it, when, are we in a position where we have to deny this this meeting, or do we inadvertently uh, cause something to happen? Is the question that arises from that oh, business no, about no. Amos Media? Oh no, something. If he hasn't shown up at the meetings, he's put in an application. We can deny mm -hmm. the certificate, uh, which is different, kind of the opposite with what they were talking about with Amherst Media is... So we, ha we haven't continued this meeting uh, for, th for, for no. two hearings or anything because it was on the agenda uh, two or three meetings ago, have we? No, because we convened to act upon it and he wasn't here. Yeah, but we kind of opened the public. We, 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 but we didn't, we didn't, we didn't... Uh, did we need we, to actually continue? We didn't continue it, that's what I guess. We didn't did, continue did it. Did we actually continue it, or did we just let it flow from one date to another? I, I believe we continued, because we, we didn't advertise, re-advertise the public hearing and do the mailings again. I think it was a continued. Well, we're, we're, we're. Uh, so I guess then, do we have, I guess, well, what I'm, I'm thinking we do is continue with the public portion of the meeting. And if when we finish that, I'm giving him the opportunity to come late. If yeah. he has not come by the end, then we will officially vote to deny the certificate and close the application. And we will deny, I mean, we'll talk about it when we get there, but, but I would vote to deny because questions that we've raised that Nate has conveyed to him have not been answered. Mm -hmm. Correct. And I would just think the fact that somebody doesn't show you know, the town has incurred the cost of advertising and... Yeah, but I, I think that uh, Bruce, having possibly been slightly unnerved by the abutters letters, is thinking very legally. Yeah, no, 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 we have to deny it, but I think we can, we can deny it on the basis that we have questions that are unresolved, and I think we can also deny it just because he hasn't shown... Yes. Yeah, but so we will officially deny it and close it out of the application. Okay. I just and Marianne, if, if 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 you think I'm starting to think legally, you should you should run away. <laughs> you should <laughs> for the hills. <laughs> okay. Okay. And in terms of Amherst Media, there's really it's it doesn't concern the commission at the moment. No. Yeah. And I think it won't. I think it won't either. I, I think exactly. there's a whole chain of events. Mm -hmm. Right. That we are not involved in exactly yeah. except to learn from the uh the experience god i don't know what i would learn <laughs> well i would oh, say we, this we so don't we, trust people yeah but it does it does turn out that in there's a hidden in the bylaw of this the state bylaw for local historic district commissions uh it's something that the town has never done ever before but i would say going forward uh the town attorney said that any time um, an application is continued to another meeting and the decision won't be made within 60 days, we will have the applicant sign a form. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So okay. that, yeah. Um, okay. So I guess well, with Ben, I would turn it over to you um, yeah. to take the public yeah. items. Yeah, certainly. So, um, we had discussed at our previous meeting um, adding a legal ad fee um, for future sure. applications. Uh, and uh, there are some emails bouncing around the planning department about how exactly to institute that. Um, and I think, you know, our previous discussion, we were talking about, you know, I think we had, uh, well, we had settled on $50. Um, I will say, I think, to like actually institute this as well as the exclusions, it would need to be like an advertised public hearing that people vote on. So I don't think we can actually vote on anything now, but we can certainly discuss and then um, have a public hearing that's advertised uh, with these agenda items in in a future date. But um, so um, so the legal ad fee. Um, can uh is something we can do um and uh 
I guess we had discussed whether it needs to be in the rules and regulations or the bylaw. Um, and, you know, Chris Restrup and Nate and Rob Mora um, indicated it, it, it doesn't necessarily even have to show up in the rules and regulations. It can just be, you know, a checklist item on the application. And that's yeah. something that we do internally, like the inspection, the, the permit. Um, people who process permits here will just, you know, need, need that check to move it forward. Um, and, but if we do want to have it written in the rules and regulations, um, Nate provided some example language here. Um, the commission establishes a legal ad fee paid by an applicant to help cover the cost of publishing the legal notice in the Daily Hampshire Gazette. Um, the fee of $50 shall be collected at the time of application and is required for an application to be considered complete and reviewed by the commission. So um, I think also we had uh, discussed at the last meeting, like providing a list of you know, like maybe just like a hardship exemption um, or Yes. So if there's other language we want to put in there, um, we can do that as well. Yeah, I, I would agree. I would definitely want to see a hardship. I feel like if, I don't know, somebody yeah, was yeah. just doing a minor repair that I would hate for them to have to spend $50. Yeah, in fact, I would break that out. I mean, I think there are two kinds of exemptions I'd want to see. One is a genuine hardship exemption and we talked about that, you know, some examples of that at our last meeting. And the other is, you know, I think I would say something like, I, I wouldn't know how to quite say this, but if it's a minor repair, if it's a minor change, let's say it's something that will, is estimated to cost under 100 or 150, that, you know, something that small. Mm -hmm. They have to pay 50 bucks. Right. Yeah. It's going to really annoy our neighbors. Exactly. It would annoy yeah. me. Mm -hmm. However, I wonder, I wonder if uh, you should also put just a little when you say it costs fifty dollars uh, to help defray the considerable costs that yeah. are incurred in this. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's an excellent. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, I yeah. agree. It and says that. I think this is not a profit center for the town. No. no. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's the incredible costs to the town for, yeah. But, but the, it says that. Oh, okay. To help cover it, the it, cost it, of publishing the legal yeah, you, yeah. you could but decide. It's a, you could dis it's a considerable cost to the town. I think that's what. Or, or maybe if you said help defray, because it may not cover the whole cost. Well, that's what mm -hmm. it helps for. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You could, you could say help cover or defray, but I right, think they're equivalent. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a question, though, uh, on these uh, matters. Uh, first of all, so far as uh, well, any any hardship thing, we we'd have to say, well, who's going to determine that hardship? And clearly, the answer is um, the town, not the, us, because it doesn't get to us until. The application has been made and this is pre-applicant this is part of the application process so if we're talking about hardships uh, the determination of hardship is going to be done by the building commissioner yeah um, and the building commissioner has already exhibited uh, um, a, a certain understandable um, reluctance to get too far into the weeds on this now we've given uh, what follows the exclusions um, so we've already, in a sense, uh, covered, I think, the concern raised about uh, matters that cost less than 100 or 100, you know, don't cost much, because we've, we've, we've uh, handled that by right. proposing excluding them. So I think if I, 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 it becomes difficult. I don't know how you would make the hardship thing work. Anybody got any ideas as to how it would work? Oops. Um, would, there, would there be an arbitrary, or thinking there would be an arbitrary cutoff? Or, or, or would there be a different amount of, a different fee depending upon circumstances? I'm, I'm, it's such a, it's, it's so indeterminate right now. I'm not sure which would be well, looking at. It's 50 yeah. bucks. I mean, I, I think that if we start trying to uh, mm -hmm. um, 
just cut and slice this, it'll it'll just yeah. become impossible. I would think so too. Yeah, I'm trying to think it would be, you know, we'd have to verify income somehow possibly. And I, that that's a can be a complicated process. Well, um, are we assuming that but, if anybody had work under two hundred and fifty dollars, they wouldn't probably be coming. They wouldn't need Well, a, we don't know that we have the complete list yet. I mean we just have yeah. We just have a list of minor items that have come before us. Mm -hmm. So I don't. Even if somebody's getting a new cap or something on their chimney, it's, I don't. Yeah. My sense mm -hmm. is that we'll pick this up progressively because if yeah. uh, somebody comes along and has to pay a hundred uh, a fee and, and, and the complaint is raised at the town hall or um say one of you folks on the commission who live locally and run into people much more for example than jim and i might because we're outliers uh, geographically on this uh, they'll say you know good lord you know i have to pay 50 bucks and i'm doing this and so the the, the feedback will happen through those processes and then we'll find out oh there is a couple more things that we might add to this exclusion list so mm -hmm. i think that it's a it's a you know, it's an evolving process. We should think of it in those terms, right? And try to imagine that we can solve the whole problem. We anticipate them. Right now. Because right. I think we'll but just I, trip over ourselves trying. But I don't think it's it's fair to just have it open-ended that when you bump into someone and, and talk and chat about it, that a fee gets determined out of an informal process like that. I think there needs well, to be a it's not determined we, by we, that. Uh, huh. It's it's yeah. feedback. It's part of the feedback mechanism, whether they talk to you or whether they talk to the town. However, it's handled. There's a feedback process that uh, the commission might eventually might decide. Well, yes, that's true. There's a couple of instances mm -hmm. here that really are unnecessarily yes, hard, and we'll and then we we take uh, steps to add them to the exclusion list. But what would then happen is. We would hear about it from Rob Moore's office. Most likely, yes. It wouldn't come to us until the next month. Right. We'd then have to get the language. That would be another month. I would wonder, we, I wonder we, if you could solve this simply by just saying uh, uh, if the cost is less than so $250 or... No, you can't do it that way. You can't, no, mm -hmm. that's true. It's an aesthetic thing too. Yeah, that's true. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we, for now, we leave it, you know, we've tried to make it as um, unburdensome as possible. The town, you know, uh, revenue is down, taxes are down with everything that's going yes. on and that we really felt we needed to help to unburden the town as much as we could without overly burdening the applicant. So we did ask to put a bit more, uh, I can't, the, the font is small, so I can't say it. But, okay, here I can uh, zoom in. You know, a yes. bit more explanatory language. Right. And that initially it was recommended that they pay, I think, 75 to 100, but so we did lower it. We did lower it. But I still, uh, I, I know the pushback that we had with the, um, the fee, the rental permit fee mm -hmm. by, you know, um, by single house rentals. Right. That don't get much about it. We really heard a lot about that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just imagining, you know, the give and take that we get. Yeah, okay. So I'm just trying to think about the language. Where, where is the language about why we're doing this? Is that could the, you, the legal ad fee? There? Yeah. There go. Yes. Okay. So the commission establishes a legal ad fee paid by an applicant to help cover the cost of publishing the legal okay. notice. I, I, I would say the considerable costs to the town. Okay. I really would because, you know, that helps people. Otherwise, people aren't aren't going to imagine that. Yeah, yeah, it's not just the legal ad fee, but it's the mailing as They're well. They're going to be pissed off. Yeah. yeah so I it's to it's help cover the cost, the considerable cost the, to the, the town, town uh, right. instead of oh, yeah. costs of publishing the legal yeah, notice right. in the Hampshire right. Gazette. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the rest there of yeah. publishing the legal notice. You know, okay. Right. And I think then that's a good, you say, good okay, way. Okay, I guess there's a problem. Everything's going up. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and again, this isn't not, like a parking ticket. It's not a revenue generating 
though. Yeah. And, I, and on that on that note, would it be better just to call it an application fee as opposed to explicitly like a legal do, ad? Do we fee? have an application fee? Uh, currently, no. I think oh, you're I think you're right, Ben. I think it would it consistent with Marianne's improved uh, wording, more expansive wording. I think the same should be in the title that it becomes mm -hmm. a a um, an application okay. fee, not a legal okay. ad fee. Okay, so then it becomes a considerable cost to the town. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. yeah, exactly. But, but what Ben's uh, saying, Marianne, is that the commission establishes a an application fee as opposed to a legal ad fee. But okay. what he's suggesting is that, in consistent with your wording, the adjective that describes the fee beforehand also changes. And I think he's right. Yes, yes, that's right. But then it means that it's not just publishing a legal notice in the, the, the in the Daily Hampshire Gazette, mm -hmm. but considerable uh, <clears throat> administration of, of handling the proposal. Right, yeah. because letters have to be sent to a butters. The, 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 of handling the proposal and of publishing the legal notice. So it's yeah. those, those things. Yeah, so we exactly. don't we don't have to say that, I don't think, do yeah. we? Oh, no. I do. I think so. I think all of this is public relations. I really do. Okay. I, agree. I agree. I was actually very shocked that it was as expensive to the town. And that was very helpful in getting me to agree that mm -hmm. there should be a fee. And, okay. and I think people are just not in the loop. And so that wording is necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. I had no idea it cost the town before this. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, I think I think those of you who are in the town hall, you know what it costs, and so yeah, you then yeah. don't know the impact on people who have to pay something to do something that we're asking them to do. You yes, know? right. And they say, <laughs> "I didn't know that I voted for this." Mm -hmm. so. Then, uh, th what we are looking at is not an editable version of the wording, correct? Um, I think it's easily editable. Yes. Well, if yeah, it's a PDF, uh, it's not. Yeah, well, like we can't point. change it right here on the screen. Is what yeah. I, I want to change it right here on the screen. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, let's see. Do I have this saved somewhere? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll reshare my screen. So new share. And then LHD. Cool. Okay. So this is, this. whoops. What did I just do? You got Hi. It. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, come back. Uh, here we, we go. Lost, we lost the, uh, there. Okay. Now okay. Then. Yep. So this is the same exact thing, but in a Word document. So oh, very good. good. So, so let's do Marianne's, uh, Marianne's yeah. uh, first uh, uh, I have to mute for just a minute. Keep talking. Okay. Yep. Position fee. Okay, application then, fee. The commission establishes an application fee. Okay, but you want to put that before the word fees as well. Yeah. Yep. And that so, possibly should be capitalized, don't you think? Application yeah. fee. Yeah. So, to help cover the considerable, I like considerable. Cost uh, to the town. I would take out the word considerable. I think it's right. just, yeah. It, it, that's that's subjective. What's considerable? Okay, to help cover the cost to the town of administering uh, the application, right? Mm -hmm. And and then we have the language publishing whatever it is about the in the Daily Hampshire Gazette. Those those are the two major things. Yeah. Say publish. Publishing the what do you publish? The the hearing notice notice the of the, yeah. the the pub the notice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. I I Peggy. I think that considerable is kind of important because it was when I heard the sum that I was impressed that this should be. If it's just the cost, it could be very petty, and it's not going to be the public relations thing that we're hoping to clarify here. So in some ways it should be somehow emphasized that this is a lot of money it's costing the town. Yeah. I was, uh, it's a lot by any, it's not really subjective. It's a lot of, it wasn't it, how much was it Ben? 
It's like five hundred dollars. I agree, Karen. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then so, if somebody came back, you know, like on Fearing Street, a hundred Fearing Street came back three times, and they had to post three times. So it was like fifteen hundred dollars for that yeah. one. I wonder if like Defray. I know the help is in there, but Defray might the help indicate the that we're not. It's not. <laughs> nearly cover it's not mm -hmm. nearly covering it i don't know if there's another sin that's right sin to help, to help that's a good i like to better than help. i do too yeah, yeah. Strong yeah. Better. yeah that's clearer it's much clearer okay help to the costs so those of you that are advocates of considerable is help to fray uh okay or is uh considerable no i think that that does it defray mean i i don't know it 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 I would feel all right getting this if I had to. Yeah. Before the word fees above that paragraph, you want to put application fee? Yep. Yeah, exactly. Good. Okay. But it says application fee above the. Yeah, no, it's, it's okay. It twice now. Okay, yeah. well, you take it off a second time. Well, the, 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 the first application fee at the top is really for the purpose of the, cons the discussion that we're having, and the second application fee is the wording that might yes. or might not yeah. go into the rules and regulations. Well, then well, I do we that want that it in the rules and regulations? Um, I think it probably should be, I think so. uh, given the amount of effort that you all have put into crafting it, from, from my point of view, I don't care because I'm much more um, loosey goosey about this. I think mm -hmm. so. It's I, so I'm I'm not the one to uh, drive this bus. There, there, I I think it should be in the rules and regulations. I do too. And again, I, you're right, Bruce. It's because we're going to hear from our neighbors. So yes. right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we're going to say it's in the rules and regulations. Right. <laughs> Just look it up, or you know, if you because they might have other things that they're looking at the rules and regulations for. Well, probably not, but if they do, they'll find it. Mm -hmm. If they object, they will find a reason to object. Yeah, and we can, this is, this is a little more than just, basically what this does, Ben, is that it puts the, the application fee at the doorstep of the commission and yes. not right. at the doorstep of the building commissioner. So I think right. you, you all good. would probably, you all would probably argue for doing this that's a good and, point. And, yeah. and push us to, to, I think that's to right. yes. vote accordingly. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. That's what I would do if I were you. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I gotcha. Okay. Okay. Sounds okay. good. And again, you're saying we don't vote on this because it will go as a public meeting and then it'll be on the that agenda. Yeah, I, I okay. believe so. Yeah. No. Okay. Don't All righty. Okay. So, good. yeah, and we can move on that's to talking good. about our exclusions. Let me see if any, if the, Gentlemen, if anyone's here from, no, it doesn't look like no one, no one is here yet. Okay, um, these guys are amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was laid back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that they changed their mind, you know. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. Yeah. Um, to tell us. So then, the other topic for today was about um, additional exclusions to add to um, things that should be exempt from review. Um, okay. And I know that- uh, is, is there anything such as uh, repairing stairwells or anything you might do with a support for a deck or are there any, you know, small things that we could exclude or do we really want to look at every step that they well we may i think we may want to look at every step that they i think unless it can be clearly uh encapsulated and defined like a flu cap then yeah. i think we do because otherwise rob will say no that's i don't know what yes, uh, yes. foundation okay. replacement means okay. and you'd be but, right mm -hmm. it, yes, can, okay. it can be a little or a lot yeah okay i think by the way flu has an e on the end of it okay oh yeah this would be like influenza Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a it's a cap you wear when you're sick. <laughs> and again, in the in the in the, uh, yeah. the following text. Yeah. Alrighty, so and then this, and we can add to this later. This is what this is similar to the one that came up a few 
weeks ago or months ago? I think there was yeah. a, a flu yes. gap. Okay. There was week. a flu gap. Do, uh, is this going to be public? I mean, this is going to be on some piece of paper that applicants get? Yep. Um, well, this will be added to the rules and regulations. No, it just means, I, I guess, when you come in and you're applying for that, you uh, won't be sent to the commission. Yes, I think I think this is on Rob Morrow's desk, and okay. that's probably all, right. all the only place it needs to be. Well, then he says, "Sorry, it's not on the list." Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or so like, people, or like Nate, 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 and I also sometimes get calls from pot potential applicants or people who are, and so like I, I've consulted the you know, exemption list before and okay. stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, I think it would, it would be, a, it would live there. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. So the, oops, um, Hilda just raised her hand. Let's see if, Hilda, mm -hmm. I can allow you to talk if you want to go ahead. Oh, she's muted. Okay. Ask. Um, it sounds it's not clear to the person who's listening whether exclusion applies to the fee or whether exclusion means you don't have to file. Oh, okay. It doesn't have to be reviewed by the board. That's what's not clear it's, about it's, what you're talking good about. Good question. It's both. It's both. So we need, we need to say that. You need to make that clear then. That's a good question. A, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it would be made clear by defining what exclusions mean, which means uh, there's, uh, but I think in the, in the context of the uh, it means uh, rules and regulations. You will not, you will not, when you come, when you go to the town hall to make your application to do one of these things, you will not be directed to the local historic district commission. So yeah. we would say exclusions from local historic district consideration. Right, review. You don't need a certificate of appropriateness to do these right. things. So could mm -hmm. you add that as well? Well, mm -hmm. but these are, these are going to be, are these going to be in the rules and regulations as well? These exclusions? No, that was my understanding. I, I'm obviously new to the commission, so I don't know mm -hmm. exactly how it operates, but there is a list of ex exclusions in the rules and regulations right now and so yeah. this would be added this to would it be added which yeah. probably means that the wording that we've just discussed precedes that is already in the rules and regulations and we're just adding to the right. list of below it okay yeah, hey, this, this is i'm oh, sorry this is a I, i've been listening i was going to cut in the uh, yeah, i don't yeah these would be exclusions in the rules and regs not exemptions in the bylaw so the rules and regulations allows the commission to um you know to Come up with local, local, um, you know, lo local rules that aren't necessarily inconsistent with the bylaw. So, you know, the planning board does it, and the zoning board of appeals does it. So, mm. Bob Mora the other year approved putting exclusions in the rules and regs. Right now, it says you know, like replacement of windows with similar um, material or appearance from the street. So that that way, someone who's just replacing windows is excluded. It wasn't an exemption in the bylaw but it's spelled out in the rules and regs. Mm. And so, so the language in the email is, you know, could be just the same language that you see um, yes. in the rules and regs. And Bruce is right. There's, there's already a, you know, a prologue mm -hmm. or an introduction about it. Good. I, I'm, I'm signing off now. Good. Okay. Thanks, Nate. Okay. Thanks, Nate. Uh, really? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still be listening. <laughs> we, we can play. Yeah. Yeah, and so um, if you want to actually have that up right now, like the rules and regulations section. Um, right. I, 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 I am very happy to leave it to you okay. to incorporate <laughs> that into yes, an I, existing I, document. Gotcha. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well said, Maureen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Hmm. Um, so yeah, Nate had come up with a few um, kind of parameters for the exclusions, and I think you know, it's based off of the conversation we had last meeting, but um, mm. we can take time now to kind of just go over that if you all, if you guys want. Um, I would. Yeah. Uh, now again, I, um, Ben, is this something we can just act on at this meeting or does this have to be at a public meeting? That, that I would is, defer is to it, Nate, I'm not sure. Well, um, uh, we can text him at the end that if we, we want can, to. Well, I don't know. Well, yeah, so, so I'll, I'll um, <laughs> yeah, the recommendation thanks, usually is, yeah, the, the recommendation usually is that um, 
rules and regulations be changed after a public hearing. And so I'm not sure okay. if that's actually stated in the bylaw, but for the other regulatory boards, that's how it works. So okay. I think today you could discuss the language, you know, if you wanted to tweak any of the language in terms of what exactly is excluded. And then, um, you know, for the September hearing or for a, for a September meeting, it could be a public hearing that was advertised two, week in a, two weeks in advance. And then it would be, um, the commission could then adopt it and it would become effective then. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good. We're just discussing today. Mm -hmm. Thanks, yeah. Nate. Okay. I'm good with number two. I okay. Am too. So this mm -hmm. is a mini split electrical box. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Number three. Number three uh, looks at you know the exterior compressor for usually for mini split um, installations, and so an application would be exempt from review if it's only two or fewer uh, compressors per building. Um, its highest point, so the top, is less than five feet off the ground. So they're pretty you know, low to the ground. Yeah, sufficiently, sc sufficiently screened from view. What does sufficiently mean? I would take out yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be screened. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, yeah. Uh, I agree. Yeah, I would say I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. And this, next, this last one I'm interested in, I don't know, uh, I, I, I question that, not, not proposing to, to, to strike it, but just why? Why do we mm -hmm. care? Um, yeah, I, I, my sense is maybe just because like, you know, doorways are often important architectural features and uh, wanting the entrance to the homes to be nice. I mean, one option is also just saying is not on the front of the house. Yeah, I think that's what Nate was concerned yeah. that it not be in the yeah. front of the house. I yeah. think that's a good one. I that's a better think. way of saying it. Yeah. Right. I agree. I have a problem with uh, the clarity of uh, the first one. Is are, are we saying that if there are two or fewer per structure, they don't have to apply. I mean, you could have one big, horrible, ugly thing. It, it's not, that's not really clear. Well, it can't be big and hor it can't be big because of the second. What I don't understand is then, are you saying uh, if all of the, uh, all of the following uh, uh, apply, the exterior right. compressor, uh, yeah. oh. if all of the following, because that's not clear right now. I would put that because it's yes. okay, you're right. Like you're, right. You're, you're right. I, I you certainly have to apply. That was my understanding, but you're right. You no, have it to is. say it. No, that was a good suggestion. Yes. Good, Karen. Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah, great suggestion. Um, I'm wondering for like corner lots, sh should it be like, you know, the street facing side of the. Uh, no, I'd say um, it's sad, right. sad but true for a corner lot. Uh, it's twice as hard to locate them. Yeah. Okay. So and, then it, and then if we find out that we can relax that in some way, then we can move to it based on experience. But for the moment, going in, I would keep it. Uh, so the way we've got it. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm on the corner lot and we put ours behind a fence. So yeah. can't we say it cannot be seen from the, the public, public way, way the, the language we use elsewhere? I mm -hmm. mean, the, and it could be two public ways. And it could be, yeah. I mean, you know, we've been dealing with three public ways. Right, the yeah. public way is the public way. Could you, could you say not in front of the house or seen by the public way? So it's both? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, my question is uh, again. Well, then uh, it wouldn't have to come. Yeah, exactly. If it's if it's not visible from the public oh, right away. Oh, you're right. Right. Of course. Uh, yes. <laughs> so and it's uh, yeah. I mean, we we already have the screen from view. Okay. Um, I think if we put is not in front of the house. Um, We'll leave. Then we're leaving it to the building commissioner. And if uh, they'll, if 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 they, if the building, if, if Rob wants to, then he, if it's on the side of the house, but it's a side street, he might decide that it needs to come. Yes, because it can be seen from a public way. Yeah, public um, way is really determinative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. I, I think I would I would leave it the way it is for now and see how see how it flies. Okay. 
Yeah, and I we can and I can talk to Rob about this too before our next meeting, just to yeah. go go over it with there's him. One, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. But okay. There's a there's a house on I think it's on Lincoln, where the front of the house is not in the is it does not face the street. It's on the it's you go up a driveway and and the front of the house faces the driveway. Oh, so, you have some of that right. The side is what's on the street. The side of the house is facing the street, right. So in that situation, you might be better off with your uh, com compressor past the door on the, on the facing the driveway, which would be the front of the house. You wouldn't see that from, that would be much less visible from the street. So I think it's not on the front of the house is maybe there's to add something that indicates that if this would be dependent upon the facing of the house. Right. That or maybe the house is facing the street. Yeah, or maybe, yeah, is not on the facade yeah. of the house facing the street. But re remember that oh. the default, the default here is that the, way. that it comes, that it comes to us. So we don't, we don't have to, again, uh, I don't think we have to, um, uh, beat ourselves up too much over this and, and try too hard. I think we get, we get most, whoops, my dog is tied up in my earbuds. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that happens. Okay. That, that well, was, uh, oh, so so we, we don't have to, so I'm if sorry. we just say, sorry. if we just say not in front of the house, that's going to cover 99, I, oh, sorry, 95% of the, of the, um, of the structures we in our in the district, right? Which would be visible from the but, public way. But there would be some house where it would be perfectly okay, and that would be facing facing a driveway and facing another house. Is, is I think it's a greenhouse on Lincoln that I'm, or Sunset. No, it's not Sunset. Sunset. There's a there's a beautiful gray house on Sunset, and you yes, enter that it. the driveway is on the side. Right, the front of the house is on the side of the lot. But architecturally, would it be offensive to have the compressor there? It would be. Oh, it would be offensive to have it. Well, they, they, the owners probably wouldn't choose to have it in the front, but we certainly wouldn't want it on the side. Mm -hmm. It's the street. Okay. okay, so that's, so if they have a nice front that faces a driveway and the side that faces the street, they have two other sides to figure out. Right. And if they're a corner lot and that happens, then they have one side to figure out. So do I understand that we're talking about situations where we maybe, imagine the front of the is, house is not uh, the frontage? Yes, it's not on the, on the public. The entrance way. isn't on the public way. Right. Okay. Public. Maybe we just want to just take that last piece out. It's not. Well, it's the. I was the, thinking that, Peggy. I was, I was thinking. Make sure that it's free. From, isn't um, that what we're concerned that it's seen from view? I, I was, I was thinking that, Peggy. I, I mm -hmm. was thinking that we might. Then you might be willing to give a question to Nate about what he had in mind there. Okay. Yeah. Because simply tell him we've been struggling with it. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I'm, I'm, yeah. And I agree with Peggy. I think the whole thing should go. I think yeah. it is screened from view, period. Mm -hmm. Now, what if someone, you know, puts a, wants to put a condenser on the front of their house and then puts a, puts a giant fence around it to screen, or like maybe a lots, lots of vegetation around it to screen it from view? And then uh, would that be detrimental to the architecture of the house. I guess I'm just thinking of like. It could be pretty ugly, but we're right. trying. It could be. Mm. Right. No, Again, we should if, they put a fence, if they want to put a fence up, they'd have to come yeah, to us. I just realized that. Yeah. But, yeah. Now the thing is if they put bushes, which is fine, it's just that if the bushes came down, like yeah. a subsequent owner took down the bushes, then what? Well, what if we just of, instead of that, is, we can say it, it remains screened from view. Remains right. Screened from view, and right. not not further, and then that, 
part of a discussion. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, yeah. I think uh, we agreed a long time ago we're not Nantucket. Mm -hmm. And so right. I think there's a limit. Okay. Yeah. But I think I, we could say remains. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'll take, take that out. I mean, we did that. And we could go back to the to the not within 15 feet of the, or five, not within 10 feet of the door, where you could go back to that. Uh -huh. Well, I, I'd rather ask Nate what he had in mind. Okay. I, yeah, I would provisionally take that away because I don't think it matters. Uh, and I, I guess I confess that I've got one right next to my uh, doorway, but it's, uh, but you see, the thing is very often at the entry, you have a porch. And the yeah. porch sticks out a little. And if you put this thing mm. um, on the side of the porch, which therefore is perpendicular to the street, it's really rather unobtrusive. Mm -hmm. So um, okay. this, uh, this, this thing, uh, of course, to, to, to take my own arguments and put them back at me, all that would happen is that it has to come to uh, the commission. And, right. and maybe that's the way it should be. And we just yeah. leave it there, recognizing that if it is, close to the door, then it comes to us and we might say, sure, it's fine. Sure, right. so, I, so I yeah, I'll chime in again quickly. I mean, I guess my thought is I've seen two installations. One is on, you know, a, a gas house, so a nice old um, cape where they put it right smack dab right next to the front door, two feet off the ground facing the street. And then another uh, one where on they put it, um, I can't remember. And then there's another one I've seen in town where they put it outside the front porch so i get it bruce it's not perpendicular to the street but it's you know right next to the stairs facing the street and so yeah. it's really hard to have those um particulars in an in the in the exclusion so you know for instance would you say you know if it's you know perpendicular to the street i mean you know no I, no, no, no. we don't need you know, i'm with you it comes yeah. to us if it's what within about, 10 feet of the door what about given how particular it is each house and it's and it's facing yeah. it leaves uh, this a little more vague that, that on each application that the, the location of the uh of the uh the air condition conditioner needs to be the, the compressor needs to be approved by the by the historic commission so that that That's would be me. something we would get to look at that would be part of the application and yeah, then so is that uh -huh. mm -hmm. But we were trying to come up with how many things we could exclude. Yeah, I guess what we were hoping for the was load and for people being troubled. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I yeah, sorry I didn't mean to cut in. I, I was listening to that. I think the difficulty again is I mean, we'd have to ask an applicant then to provide, you know, a, a plan. We do anyways and show the location of the compressor units and mm. you know, and then that gets then then that carries through to the electrical permit. So um, you know, then the oh, electrical okay. inspector has not approved mm. that location. But I think the, um, I was listening to the front, you know, the difference between the front and side is interesting. So, you know, for zoning, we have a front setback and a side setback. Uh, for this, it could be something different. So you could be pretty clear about what, mm -hmm. you mean, the front of the house or not. I, I you know, and then the, my only well, question too is- need to save. Right. Sorry. The, other, the only other one is we don't we don't define screening. So I said screen from view. Yes. And so I guess one thing is, you know, is it vegetation or is it someone putting up a fence? So, you know, um, on August 31st, you know, 32 Cosby Ave is putting up a mini split. And then they, I think they want to put a fence a little bit away from it to shield the compressor unit. But the fence has to come then for review. But would that fence be considered part of this installation as the screening? And so I think those are things to consider about you know, what does screening mean? Um, mm. Is it a structure independent of the unit or is it vegetation? I mean, if it's vegetation, we, we should say vegetation, you know, vegetative screening or something or, land, you know. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. So to actually screen it from, from view, well, it, it would but, requ might require a fence. But mate, or, you would explain that to them or you or Ben would explain to an applicant when they were there um, that um, uh, it says remains screen from view, which is our intent here. And so, and then, so if, if they say, oh, well, I'll build a fence, then you would say, well, that would actually require you to go to the commission 
Um, if it's screened with vegetation, then perhaps not. Right. So, um, so I guess it. I guess it does have to say vegetative screen, doesn't it? Can I just ask a question? I'm not trying to muck things up, but so let's say somebody doesn't have to come to us to put it in, and they put it in, and they don't do the screening. Somebody can cite them. Yes. Yeah. If this goes through, yes. Yeah, we have a there's a there's a lever. Yeah. Screen with vegetation. Yes, I get that's that's good. I like that, and uh, and I'm 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 uh, resolved to uh, the last one. Uh, I'm thinking yes, let's keep that. Is not within ten feet of a door or entry. Uh, and now I'm just thinking about door or entry and whether we should um, uh, just have it uh, ten feet of uh, an entry. Mm -hmm. because there it might be a you know a cellar hatchway or something that could be a right. door and so if we just say a an entry I wouldn't say any entry I just say an entry okay yep. well actually I don't yeah I mean well, it seems it seems cellar. a little more forgiving oops uh, and so wait, oops. So it's not within 10 feet of any entry but why would it be, be a problem to be Closer than ten feet to a cellar entry, if that's yeah. the back of the house. Yeah. Well, like I th I thought that by taking out door, it would uh, uh, it would be a little more uh, forgiving in the sense that there might be some doors, and I used a cellar hatchway as an example of a door, not of an entry, mm -hmm. uh, because I thought I thought entry is a little more difficult, a little less likely to be construed as a a cellar access way is a little less likely to be construed as an entry, but um, but maybe a door. Are we talking about the main entry? Yes. Well, oh, mostly, okay. yeah, I Why think so. Why do you say that? Okay. That doesn't make sense to me. No, oh. main entry. Main entry. I, we we use a side entry. Right. We use a side entry in our home, in the Victorian home in the district. Yeah, and also, like, and also the building commission, the not, they're not going to know which one is the main entry necessarily. Right. I, anyway, that doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Why didn't you just That's take it out? Can we say front door entry? Well, Peggy and I both have the same problem. We have front doors and side doors. No, but if your side door isn't in, really visible from the public way, does it? Oh, I see what you mean. Of it is. It is. A, my side door is visible from the public yeah. way. Mm -hmm. My side door right. is our main entry that's visible from the street. And the front yeah. door, the front of the house, nobody can see because that lot has historically yeah. been chopped off. So it's problematic, this language. I, mm -hmm. I'm not sure we okay. need to get into this door part of it. My sense is that the intent of 10 feet from the entry door was was a, a conspicuous entry um, and that yes the side door is visible from the street but it's not as visible or as conspicuous as or as fundamentally a part of the uh, um the, the, also, the I guess Nate was thinking of the houses he's seen which we don't want to allow those incidents mm -hmm. to happen so i guess mm -hmm. we're just trying to find a way to avoid that and I yeah. think, you know, the, the, the thing being that if the, the, I think we have to keep our eye on the ball that insofar as we recognize that this is really a framework for the building commissioner's uh, mm -hmm. uh, use. And so the default here is that it comes to us. Right. So we, we don't have to try and um, cover every, every inch of territory here. We're just trying to make the building commissioner's uh, or, or the applicant's lives a little easier, mm. and and so if uh, so, if something is within ten feet of an entry, whatever the damn entry is, <laughs> it'll probably come to us. But mostly, um, this will um, uh, filter out. Uh, right. Exactly. Yeah, that makes applicants. sense. Right. But it will come to us and cost fifty dollars. It, it, it still complicates me. I've got entries on three sides of my house. I mean, it's well, just. Is. You're unfortunately more likely to have to come to us then. I mean, someone like you. But this will, this, this will, 
this will cut out a lot of the smaller uh, mm -hmm. houses, which are simpler and and so forth. Okay. And probably okay. the ones that we're less concerned about. Yeah. yeah. And you know, yeah, exactly. And I guess with the application fee, people have an incentive to just like make make this a simple installation, yes. follow these rules, and not have to come before the commission. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, um, I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to make it so that my house, which is a historic <laughs> house in the historic, yeah, is not but, be problematic. But what and do we gain by that? It seems to me that what we're what we're coming up with make it problematic. I mean, I'm not about to be doing it, so it's not it's not a big issue for me. It's hypothetical, mm -hmm. but uh, I can see very easily, read, readily, that the next tenant in this house, the next owner of this house, would want to get air conditioning in it, and uh, and what we're doing could make it very problematic. Well, no, not problematic. problematic. They, they, it's it's the same as it is now. You just come to us. Well, let me say one other thing. I'm mainly concerned about the public way. Mm -hmm. And from my point of view, what is not seen from the public way is not, unless it's egregious. Right, it's, I agree. It's not our jurisdiction. I keep saying to myself, we are not Nantucket. Right. So uh, I don't feel. Yeah, but I think what, what Peggy's also saying is your house is on a lot that a lot of it I mean, you have a lot of shrubbery, so it, but based without the shrubbery, it could be visible from a public way. So you're mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Peggy, I, I think uh, these are just the times that are clear that you don't have to get permission. If you have a complicated house like you have and I have, and you wanna put in air conditioning, then you have to work hard to find uh, something visibly that's gonna pass muster, but you're gonna try to do that anyway because you're uh, concerned about the historic house. Right. Yeah. I and think let's put it this way, I can't imagine any commission, yeah, they might say put it here instead of here, but I don't think anyone's gonna deny someone having air conditioning. But, mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, just one point here. Uh, I do have a compressor on the other side of the side deck it's certainly within 10 feet, it's, it just abuts it. It's uh, the shrubbery around it. You can't see it from the public way, but it has to be there because of the nature of mini splits. Mm -hmm. The mini split comes down into the compressor. Right. And so in my case, it comes from the kitchen and from a bedroom into the same compressor that has to be there. Mm -hmm. So the 10 feet off my side doorway, I couldn't do it. Well, so then you come to us. Well, that's a, an annoyance. Because well, I know you're gonna have to say yes, because but, you're gonna let me have air conditioning. So why don't I spend 50 No, but then maybe, I mean, maybe if it was unsightly from a public way, we might say put a little fence around it or. But it's not visible from a public way, right. this thing, is for things not visible, visible from, from a public way. way. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Because nothing we do, uh, no, nothing that's not visible from the public way applies to us. So it uh, doesn't even, doesn't even enter even the fray. Doesn't even enter the conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah, exactly. So Peggy's got a problem and I don't, okay. <laughs> well, it's only it's only that we're we're treating. I, uh, my sense is we're treating this as though it's an adjudication of what would be uh, worthy or a receipt of a Careful. certificate of appropriateness. It's Careful. not that. It's just what Rob what Rob Mara can make a determination on without us mm -hmm. being involved. Okay. Yeah, yep. it's 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 not. Don't uh, we shouldn't confuse the two. Okay, so then you know, I would accept um, that. Then it would it would we would require a special meeting, hearing, whatever. We'd have to come directly before the, the board, which is fine. Which is the way it yeah. currently is. Anyway. Exactly, um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. throw out another loop that I just, uh, another thing that I just thought of, and it okay. really, um, what about generators? Uh, well, we don't, there, you mean, you mean having a whole separate exclusion for generators? Well, is that something that. you want to treat uh, 
do, do people that have to put in generators, does that, yeah. I mean, I'm glad I put mine in before this was a historical commission because I don't think it would have passed muster, actually. Mm. Um, um, mine screen. Well, it's, 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 it's not, this is not muster. This is simply a filter to determine what comes before us and what doesn't. Right. A compress, uh, uh, um, generators. generators tend to be bigger, a lot bigger. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. So that's why we're probably not going to put generators in here as an, ex as an item for They're exclusion. They're usually in the back of a house. And that's typically where they are because they, you can, and then typically you put them as far away as you can and the, and the penalty for doing so is, is not terribly great because the electrical losses and so forth are not as great as the, uh, and the costs and so forth are not as great as the connection by line sets to these things. Mm -hmm. so, so it's a different, it's a, it's, it's, it's a completely different, animal really yeah mm -hmm. so we don't need to talk about it at all no no i think we're fine okay exhaust okay so we're okay with that language okay are we, are we everyone okay do we read yeah. it one more time an exterior compressor condenser if all of the following apply there are two or fewer per structure its highest point is less than five feet off the ground it remains screened from view with vegetation and it is not within 10 feet of an entry yep. Let's leave it could it be, okay well could it be screened with a with some sort of uh, decorative fencing rather than vegetation why does it need to be vegetation well because if it's a fence it has to come to us by uh, another anyway. route mm -hmm. and you'd have to come before us for the fence again Okay. Yeah, exactly. Well, okay. Be legal no, no. Although, okay, I, I don't want to really belabor this, but what if you already have a fence that's shielding it? Right, or if it's not visible, if we leave it like this, it means we have to put vegetation. Doesn't, don't, doesn't it? Oh, but you're right. If it's already behind a fence, then it's not visible from a public way, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. But if I were to want to tuck mine onto the side of my house, I would need to, I would need to say continue it from a, a, a porch deck and tuck it into the corner where the deck meets the house. I would probably want to screen that in from, from the driveway coming into the house, which has become a de facto main entrance for us. Mm -hmm. so that would be fine, would wouldn't it? So I, so I would just have to come before the, Commission for an exemption is what is what no, you, refer, sir, you would certificate. come for an, a certificate of appropriateness. Okay. Yep. Unless okay. we couldn't. Exhaust fan. Are we ready for exhaust fan? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready for dinner. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so this is exhaust vent um, installation or replacement of a single exhaust vent for a dryer. Here, I'll put that in. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's good. good. That's fine. It's clear. Um, Plumbing vent stack. Yeah. Well, I would change stack to, uh, and I'd put a type of vent through roof and then put a, uh, a parenthesis after it and put in capitals VTR, close parenthesis. VTR? Yeah, that's that's what you see on drawings, and so okay. uh, the the stack is the whole thing that uh, inside the building. But it's the VTR that we're concerned about. That's what you see, mm -hmm. and they and they uh, and I was thinking about this earlier in the afternoon, and I, 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 I can't, I don't think in, I've ever heard of or seen a vent that a plumbing vent that doesn't come through a roof. Right. Exactly. Okay. So we want to so, change it in the language as well. The sentence you just. Installation and, and, and to get rid of the stack and put through roof. That's um, just a. It, it's just it'll just make it clearer for people in the trade. That's all. Okay. Yep. Okay. Then vent hood. Is that okay? Installation or replacement of standard direct vent hood for an interior unit such as combustible heater or boiler. I don't. Yep. So, I think so. Sounds good to me. But. Okay. Okay. Uh, Great. Um, and then no, no, actually, the, we, yep. we should be combustion heater. A combustible heater would be interesting to observe. But. <laughs> <laughs> combustible. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Let's all go watch the explosion. 
Um, I, I do see Hilda has her hand raised. If uh... Yeah, I want to get to the uh, exhaust yep. vent. On account of, um, I have in my house an exhaust fan in my kitchen off the stove vent, and I have exhaust fan in my bathroom for the shower. Ah, yes. And so I think that you may want to think about more than one it's not just a dryer but I've, I've got they're on the back of my house you don't see them from the street but okay so but that's like they want to handle that issue. yeah i think that would be okay i mean the the, the um they're on the side of the house Number if you don't see, see them from the street it's not our concern yeah, well uh, yeah i mean then don't make it for the dryer because it could be for the bathroom or a kitchen fan Mm -hmm. It could be anything. Well, hold on. But um, it, these are the, all exclusions for things yes. you can see from the public way. Right, but there may be a bathroom on the front of the house or a kitchen vent on the front, you know. I see what you're Hilda's right, yeah, but, okay. but we have to recognize that um, the size of a, a size of a dry event is almost universally similar, you know, in mm -hmm. terms of being a six, six inches by a square or similar with a four inch pipe coming through it. Uh, last year, I installed a, a, a range hood in my son-in-law's house, um, daughter and son-in-law's house, which is um, three feet by f uh, two feet. It's a huge uh, thing because he likes to cook and uh, he's got a very big uh, commercial hood over it and that is a range hood bent. Mm -hmm. So we could put range hood bent in there and, and many of them are actually bigger. They would be, you know, 10 inches or so uh, versus uh, six. But the trouble is there's quite a range of size for range hood bents, whereas that's not quite so, that's not true for dryers, I don't think. A bathroom? Bathroom? Bathroom vents can be, um, they are bigger. Uh, do we, do we? Mine are all the same. So yeah, but they're yeah. bigger than a dryer vent is what I'm saying. I mean, mine are 50 years old, but so yeah. nowadays things are different. Uh, I'm wondering, could we put like a, si a size of the, of the vent that is excluded or something? Um, yes, why don't we say, um, I just don't uh, know. fed by, uh, um, no, no, uh, uh, attached to no greater than a four, a, a four inch diameter duct. Okay. We're saying, uh, uh, I, I have to mute myself for a minute. I don't think any range would, would, uh, fall into that category, but, uh, a number of, uh, or we could make it six inches if we liked, mm -hmm. um, the thing is that we should know what we're going to be seeing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so do, do uh, are we all familiar with what a, a six inch vent? Um, I was thinking I could go and take a picture of the one out front and post it right now, but that would, I'm, I'm not clever enough to do that. But the, the thing is that the, 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 uh, of a six inch range hood or bathroom vent has about a 10 inch by 10 inch vent that uh, is, it, it, it discharges into a thing that's about that size. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, uh, it's a, you know, we're talking about a thing which is eight to 10 inches square and uh, which is bigger than the dry vent. Are we still comfortable? And because in that case, we could increase that. We could increase that four-inch diameter duct to a six-inch diameter duct. Mm -hmm. So then, do we say dryer bathroom or um, kitchen? Yes, um, we could do that. I suppose. Okay. I think that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Installation or replacement of single exhaust vent for a dryer, bathroom, or kitchen attached to no greater than a six inch diameter duct. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And is that a standard a standard size? Six no, inch? it's just a size that uh, creates a, a manifestation on the exterior house, which is small enough for us to consider uh, unnecessary to come before us, but you can get ducts that are bigger than that. 
um, a bigger yeah, house. We'd want to see it. But you see, this would cover 95 uh, or more percent of, uh, of, of the situations. So again, we're not trying, I don't think we're trying to cover 100%. We're just yeah. trying to take the load off these small uh, additions or, uh, or changes mm -hmm. that people are making. So yes. I think that, that, should, that should work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's push on. Okay. Well, we had circled back to exhaust vents, so we went yeah. through these two, and it, that's that's it for yeah. the exclusions. Um, and this was the list that we kind of rattled off a few meetings ago. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we've we've given this uh, a pretty thorough going over. Okay. Great. Um, I think we've done well. So I'm going to go back to the agenda. What else? So what's the time I've got? So five fifteen. Yeah. Okay, I've got a few more minutes. So, do do do. So we talked about exclusions. Um, there's time. Any public comment? Um, and then we just need to circle back to uh, make a decision about nineteen McClellan because uh, let's see, I have not received an email. Nope. So. Wait, who is that? Who, who is it that's not responding? Kendrick? Uh, Kendrick Property Management. Yeah, they're down on the corner of my street. They never replied to any phone calls I, uh, uh, I made about 10 years ago when I needed some information from them. Mm -hmm. So not much has changed, apparently. All right, so I see is uh, Jennifer is muted right now. Maybe she stepped away. But I th I do think we would need to probably cl close out the application. Yeah. Do we have to? Uh, I guess the, the the public meeting is already opened, and we've continued. Oh, there's Jennifer. I'm sorry. I okay. I, I have to apologize. My our house is being painted now, and they're doing the front door, and they were changing the color. <laughs> so I'm sorry. It's a nice color too, by the way. Thank you, but this is like the last day. Okay, so I'm. <laughs> so we're ready to close out the public meeting. The public and again, meeting. we're not making any formal decisions because this will be posted for a public meeting when we will vote on, we will yes. ask for public comment and then vote on what we just discussed today. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. so do I, sh okay, so I will formally, um, so, and so is, have to, do I have to get a motion to close out well, the public meeting and go to the public hearing where we'll do? Well, it, it, it seems like this has been continued that you would be looking for a, a motion to close the public hearing. And if that's the case, uh, so move. No, so, like a, a public meeting. So There's two a public things. meeting and a public, public hearing. public meeting right now. Right. We're doing the oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about the public hearing on uh, 19 McClellan. Yeah, we haven't finished. We haven't gotten there yet. I'm just asking oh. Dan, do I have to, do we have to close out the public meeting to go to the public hearing? Um, I believe so, yeah. Okay, so moved. All in Second. favor? Aye. Okay, now they've been oh. telling us that when we're Zooming, we have to do a, a voice. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Okay, so let's start. All in favor of closing? The public meeting, Marianne. Yes. Uh, Gr Greta. Yes. Um, Peggy. Yes. And then I'm going down my yes. screen. Bruce. Yes. Jim. Yes. Karen. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. Okay. Okay. And now we will go to the public hearing. And since the applicant for the third meeting in a row uh, was a no-show. Um, uh, we have been advised that we should um, issue, uh, we should deny the certificate of appropriateness because both they haven't been able to present their application and because we did have um, uh, comments and requests that aren't elect without haven't been able to be responded to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is I'm there so a moved. motion? Well, yes, I, I so move. Yeah. All in favor? Well, so moved. Second? 
Yes. Second. Okay, so we will proceed to a voice vote starting with Marianne. Yes. Uh, Bruce? Yes. Rita? Yes. Karen? Yes. Jim? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so, so uh, Ben, you've got the wording of that satisfactorily, do you? Yeah, basically, um, denied the application due to a lack of, you know, information, unanswered questions. Um, yeah, they, they, had, and, they have not presented and, their and application. Not, yep. And that we, upon review of the application in their absence, had questions which uh, Nate has conveyed to them mm -hmm. and which they have not addressed. Exactly, yeah. Right. Okay, because that sounds good. They they said they would be at the they have kept saying they'll be at the next meeting to respond to the questions. Yeah, yeah. and have not been. Okay, so we already have a date set for our next meeting of August thirty first. Mm -hmm. Yep, on August thirty so, first. Yeah. So with that, um, is there a motion? Wait, to do we need that meeting, or we don't yet know if we need that meeting? Mm -hmm. Yep, that meeting uh, is needed. It's been advertised, and I just did the mailings today. So it's uh, two applications. Yeah, we do one, have applications. Yep, uh, 32 Cosby Street um, for the mini splits and fence. And then, uh, gee, what was the other one? 154 or Lincoln. Lincoln or something? Yeah. yeah. So the mini splits might be exempt, but the fence wouldn't? Um. Well, those exemptions think, haven't been, they're yeah. not part of the bylaw oh, yeah. yet. That's right. But we can kind of use it as like a case study for yeah. how we might, might yeah. approach it. Uh, yeah. I, and I think this idea. 32 Cosby is another example of where they may have already installed the mini splits, I believe. So um, just for your, <laughs> so you know. And then I for, I can look up what 154 Lincoln, that might be a deck, I believe. I think it's it is the a back deck. porch. Yep, Back, a yeah. 16 by 20 deck with stairs, railings, and other features, so. Okay, so is there a motion to close the meeting? So moved. Second. Second. Okay, we don't need to do a voice vote for closing it, do we? All in favor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Aye. Okay, Aye. thank you very much. Thank Alrighty. you, everybody. Your trip, Rita. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, I'll miss the next meeting. It's yeah. safe to meet Rita. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, all. And thank you, Ben. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.